Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the week of April 6th. This week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, also, make sure to leave a comment down below. I'm still doing a giveaway for a personal reading. But Cancer, uh, this is a new spread that I'm going to be trying out. So uh, let me just get this all lined up here and we will see what comes up for you. Basically, this is gonna be a three stories reading, three different stories that could be potentially happening for you this week. And uh, then at the end, we're gonna put it all together and mash it all up. So uh, uh, in your first story here, you have a change in the winds. I feel like uh, major changes, obviously, in this row. You have the tower and the eight of wands, like very quick changes. Uh, as I always say, to me, the tower isn't a bad card uh, in the first place. To me, it represents something that needs to be removed from your life in the first place or something that needs to fall apart in your life. So it's like, the, but it's going to be something that you will rebuild or it's going to be something that you will be rebuilding from in the first place. Uh, on top of that, to me, this could just be uh, everyone's current situation. Um, again, pretty much all the readings had uh, th like uh, had at least one story about kind of like restrictions or experiencing restrictions, um, being stuck at home, you know, that type of stuff. So that could be the change that is going on here for you. Uh, next, you have the Seven of Wands here with the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, being stuck at home, like I said. Ten of Pentacles to me is actually a really nice card, of course, but... And this whole top row, we're going to, like I said, we're going to put these together at the end and we're going to put find some more information. But uh, that whole top row is very, very nice. Uh, actually, your reading is very positive, even just all together, even with this tower. Uh, this is your past position. So we'll talk about that in a minute. But I feel like some of you could be kind of like being very defensive, obviously, protecting yourself from, you know, the virus, things like that. Ten of Pentacles could represent the home. And it, it's just kind of like the way to think about the Ten of Pentacles is that it can represent just a nice place or a nice place to be. So I feel like for a lot of you, this could just say that you're kind of like in a nice place right now with that Ten of Pentacles. Uh, next, you have the Tower card here and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, this could be someone walking away from you. So some of you could be experiencing sadness because of like feeling left out. For others, again, just isolation. I feel like, like I said, pretty much every single sign this week had some sadness or had something that could totally represent kind of like isolation or feeling kind of more alone. I feel like even if we live with... Um, you know, even if we live with people or multiple people or just a person, you know, it's like we can still have that feeling of isolation. We can still have that feeling of being alone. So I feel like for some of you, you could be feeling that pretty hard. And again, that could be causing some upsets with the tower. Like it doesn't have to be anything major. It could be something small. Uh, for others, like I said, it could just be a breakup here. Uh, next, in this first story, we have the Eight of Wands here and the Page of Cups. Yeah, I feel like uh, this whole row is like literally just saying break up, some sort of change in relationship, but it's like you are moving very quickly towards something much more successful. You know, are you going to meet this person this week? Probably not, is what I would say. Even if we take this diagonal right here, it's like you have the Empress, you have the Ace Cups right below her, and the Sun. Amazing, this whole middle row, the next story. Uh, but this whole row here is like saying you're very attractive at this time. And Knight of Pentacles is something that comes into your life more slowly. Uh, Knight of Pentacles is very like slow, methodical. They take their time, all that other stuff. But uh, yeah, so anyway, this first row, I feel like there's just some sort of breakup or change in a relationship. Someone could have been defensive, uh, you know, and that could be what led to the breakup. Or there could have been like a move. Um, the person could have had personal problems with that tower card. It could be anything. And I feel like it could have led to a breakup. So that's only going to be for some of you. Uh, in your next story here, we have the Come to the Edge card here, Cancer. Uh, I love this card. I think you had this card last week, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, to me, this is a card of just like pushing yourself just a little bit farther in everything that you do. So it's like maybe maybe in business or work, you always reach a certain point and then maybe you back off or you don't push any further. I feel like this is saying kind of exceed your own expectations. I feel like this whole row is you exceeding your own expectations, Cancer. I feel like there's a lot of positivity here. I feel like there's a lot of good things coming in. But in a lot of ways, I feel like you have to exceed your own expectations kind of to make that happen. Uh, your first card here is the sun with the hair fin. Yeah, definitely a marriage row as well. Very good for love is what I'd say to you. But um, that hair fin could also represent education. Uh, and I only say that as well because of this Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is a card of hidden information. It's not really a card of like anything that's hidden, but we do have to put the work in to find it. So it can represent mysterious information or it can represent like kind of not really secrets, but you know, it can represent a certain amount of wisdom 
that we have to dig for. It's like, I'm sure, you know, most of you have worked places where it's like, maybe there's someone you work with who's like much more successful than everybody else. And really it's probably just like wisdom or it could represent, you know, it could say that that person just knows something that not everybody else does, right? So that's like this kind of wisdom with that 10 of pentacles and this hierophant. So I feel, but the, um, the sun would say you are being enlightened to the information. You are being enlightened to information that is going to push you forward this week or is gonna to lead to a great success, uh, obviously, because because look at this, you have the Empress here and the Queen of Pentacles, uh, major increase in abundance coming in for you. I feel like this is coming in for you in the future. I feel like this is something you could have as well. It's definitely gonna require work with this Knight of Pentacles. Again, we're gonna put it all together. I'm trying to keep these readings focused because I, you know, my, my dumb Pisces brain goes all over the place. But uh, what I would say here is that uh, I feel like this is abundance and success coming in for you here. Could be financial, of course, uh, but it's also like a choice. Uh, Queen of Pentacles to me is a card that says you're at a crossroads. That come to the edge card is also a card to me that says you are at a crossroads you have a choice whether or not you push yourself past the point where you normally maybe give up or stop in work or business could also be in a relationship or you are um, going to you know so it's like you, you either push yourself past it and you get all this abundance and success and kind of like resources or you don't so pretty simple choice uh, next, you have the Ace of Cups here in the moon. Definitely could be a Pisces coming in for you. Uh, you have Pisces and Taurus kind of stand out to me in your reading. Earth in general, I would say. Uh, water in general as well. So it could be a water and earth sign that's coming in for you in love if you're looking for it. Ace of Cups proposal. This whole middle row could be kind of like you are getting very close to a proposal. So if you are with someone, it definitely could be marriage, uh, you know, or a marriage proposal coming in in the near future. If you are looking for love, it could say you are meeting someone who you will be marrying in the future. So uh, yeah, I like that a lot could be a Pisces for others this could just say you are kind of like afraid that you will never have your happily ever after that doesn't have to be in love it could be in business could be in work could be anything right so I feel like you have to push yourself through the fears uh, to me the moon you know a lot of people say it's like a card of um falseness it's called a card of like hidden information as well kind of like that ten of pentacles although ten of pentacles is way more positive uh, a lot of people say that it's a card of like illusions or fantasies that you will never have uh, i disagree uh, to me the moon just represents fear and mysteries and illusions but to me it also says if we work with the fear or if we move through the fears come to the edge right it would be it would be scary like who knows how high that she is off the ground here, right? And she could be like jumping off a cliff. So there's a lot of fear there, but there's also a lot of success. So in a lot of ways, I feel kind of like fool energy for you. I feel like it's time to kind of like take a leap of faith. I feel like there will be a lot of success if you push yourself there, Cancer. Uh, in your final story here, you have the uh, milk and honey card. So I feel like a lot of just nice energy coming in for you. Amazing reading, very positive all together. And so I feel like there's a lot of positive, happy energy coming in for you. This would also be your future position. So I feel like there's a lot of happiness and just like a lot of good things coming in for you with this card. Um, to me, this card is kind of like a fortune after difficulty card. So I could feel like there could be improvements coming in for you. This is kind of like a card of having everything you want in a lot of ways. Uh, to get everything you want, you have the Nine of Pentacles and the Lovers. What did I say? I mean, literally, I said that this is probably love that's coming in the future. Might move a little bit slowly, um, probably due to the current situations that we are all experiencing at this time. So I feel like for a lot of you, this could just be love that's coming in very slowly, uh, or they're just like taking their time with this Nine of Pentacles. A uh, Lovers is a perfect match. So if you're looking for love, definitely a perfect match. Again, could be a Pisces. You have the High Priestess here. You have the Moon down here as well. Could be any sign, but I feel like it might take a little bit of time. I would just be patient. Uh, for others, I feel like this is just you working towards something that you will love, <laughs> probably like success in, in this first row or you know business, money, pretty much anything like that. Uh, next, you have the high priestess here in the world. Yeah, some of you could be in something long distance as well here, Cancer. Uh, that's kind of popping into my head. And so again, maybe that's why you're having to be patient with that Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles isn't really a card of patience, but it kind of is because he's like slow moving, but he also represents kind of like unwavering belief, just seeing something through the end, knowing that you know that something is gonna work out. Seven of Wands in this top row here um, as well. Same thing, just knowing that you know that something is gonna work out. The more sure of yourself that you can be, the better uh, with that card. So that's kind of like what I feel here. Uh, for others, I feel like there is like potential of a new beginning coming in for you. High Priestess is potential. It represents kind of like your subconscious awareness, something entering into your awareness and you becoming aware of some sort of opportunity. World is kind of like squeezing through a portal, needing to jump through something to be successful. And uh, finally, you have the Three of Pentacles here and the King of Wands. Yeah, I feel like teamwork would be very good for you here. This is you being a leader, <laughs> plain and simple here, Cancer. I don't know why I overcomplicated that for a second. This is you just being a leader. This is you like leading a group, making them create something very successful. So this could be like you being 
being a boss in business or work. It could also be you just taking the lead over your own life. And it doesn't represent, you know, it doesn't say you necessarily have to work with other people uh, in work or business, but it, it does say that you are kind of like taking the lead over and you are creating something beautiful in your life. Three of Pentacles is like creating something in your life that can be admired, creating something of quality. It is a card of like quality and competence. It's a card of being good at what you do. And so I feel like you could, for some of you, this could be you just getting recognized by a boss as well. But this is a really nice reading here, Cancer. Uh, this top row is ama is just amazing. Seven of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. That's like you know, that's like seeing your dream life, seeing everything you want with the Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Wands is conviction. It's like just knowing that you know, like, like I said, that you can have something and seeing it through to the end. You have that sun and the hairpin. Definitely could be marriage for some of you, but again, that could just be you kind of like learning what you need to do to have this dream life on the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is like having everything you want, and uh, you know, of course, the sun is just the best card in the deck. At the end here, the lovers, again, could represent love, but it could also just represent matching up with something perfectly, something that makes you very happy in work or business. And that Knight of Pentacles is putting in the work, seeing something through to the end. So I feel like a lot of you, there's just a lot of success here for you. I feel like there have been endings here with these two cards, the Tower and the Eight of Cups, like you walking away from things. But look, I mean, just the way this is going, Empress to the Queen of Pentacles, then the, um, the High Priestess to the world, it's like there's major improvements coming in for you. High Priestess is you coming out of the cold. So I like that. And um, yeah, there's just a lot of good stuff here. Even this way is just like tons of abundance. You have that Seven of Wands in this diagonal here with the Ten of Pentacles, the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles, like ultimate abundance. And um, both of these two middle cards is like abundance, abundance, abundance. And then here, Three of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Uh, really su being successful and, you know, kind of doing something you enjoy. So love it, Cancer. So thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you enjoy the, your week. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not. Like 70% of the people who watch me aren't subscribed. Don't miss out. And also make sure to leave a comment down below. But thank you, Cancer. And definitely enjoy your week.